I think the last couple are just responding really well after the outings. The elbow felt great. Um, and then I think you get to the point where uh, you know what you're looking for. The sinker movement had been good. The command was really good. And I knew that if I took that to the big leagues, I'd be fine. And uh, obviously, I know the calendar is shrinking, and I wanted to get back and, and try to be an asset uh, you know, in the postseason. So um, I felt like that was the right time, and hopefully I can get in a game here soon. How much pressure did that put on you, knowing you wanted to be part of this run to get back and try to prove to them that you were good to go? Yeah, so that's where the doctors and the medical staff kind of step in and are like, hey, this is just the reality of your situation. So you couldn't push it too much faster than I did. Uh, I stayed on the schedule that, you know, Mike Shuck and Dr. Elitrash put together. We followed it all the way to the end, and that was my last rehab game. So I kind of held them. I was like, hey, that was the last one you guys planned. I feel good. I want to get this going. If I have any chance of, I think, being an asset in the postseason, I need to throw in the regular season. I know what the postseason's all about and the stress and – Obviously, the expectation, um, you know, one bad pitch can cost you a series. So I want to be in the position where I feel like I can go out there and make that big pitch in the postseason. Do you feel anything different at all in the arm right now? It feels good. <laughs> it feels, yeah, the difference is it actually feels good. Last year was was just, uh, man, I just want to forget about it. Definitely the worst year I've ever had as a reliever. And um, just the pain of throwing, you know, every pitch, you you know, one time it would hurt really bad, the next it wouldn't, and the next one it hurt. And, and now I just feel good again, you know, like I had years past. So that's the biggest thing. And when you do that, you can make the adjustments on the mound. You feel like you can, you know, perform for your team. So that's good. Some of the reports were the velocity down a little bit. Does that concern you at all? When you had spoken in the clubhouse, you seemed like it was almost partly due to design. Yeah, so I was told the whole time to not, to, to back off of the velocity. If I wanted to come back this year, I needed to have no hiccups at all, and they said that one of the easiest ways to have a setback was to throw too hard too soon. Um, so a lot of that was trying to keep that in check, and then when my body was ready to go, probably back here, to go ahead, and, and if I felt good, and, you know, let it go. Um, but the velocity typically comes back around 18 months. I was telling you that before. That's what I had been told. I'm at 12 and a half months, so it's not that far off. Um, if I was throwing, you know, 88, I would have been probably not here right now, but I'm not that far off, and I feel like with the adrenaline, um, more innings under my belt, more volume, that the velocity will come back, you know, hopefully here in the next couple outings. You mentioned the adrenaline. I know you want to get back out there in the worst way. What do you think that adrenaline is going to be like when they finally call your number and you pitch again in the big leagues? Well, I think I walked three miles in the bullpen last night just pacing back and forth. So Boston, you know, trying to clinch a division, obviously with the stuff with Joe um, you know, going on, the, the fans are, I mean, they're always electric against the Red Sox, but it's just that extra, you know, feel of the stadium right now, and um, yeah, it's almost like making a debut. The first one is always the one you just want to get it out of the way, and I just want to get back into a routine, so I'm um, hoping today will be, you know, the day I can get that one inning in, feel good, and then start getting on a routine and getting ready for the playoffs. You mentioned Aaron Judge, and I feel like this year it's impossible to get through an interview with anyone without talking about Aaron Judge. You've been watching it from afar. You've been his teammate for a while. What has impressed you about the way he's been swinging it this year? Well, you know, I, I always look, think back on when he was a rookie. I remember, you know, the rookies, it was, I want to say it was Gary Sanchez, Judge. So, you know, I faced them before, um, and you could just see the ability. You're like, hey, if this, if this ever clicks for this guy, he's going to be really good. And then my years here, it, it's been this evolution of uh, obviously really strong, really powerful, but then just the discipline. You start talking to um, opposing pitchers, and they're like, you know, his plate discipline just improves, improves, improves. And then you're, now you're starting to see all that stuff come together. We always knew he could hit home runs but now he's he's not missing mistakes and he's not chasing I mean the average the the home runs the the threatened big situations that come up big I mean that's just you know I was telling Susan this yesterday. Buck Walter told me that there's things that happen uh, during a season that you'll probably never see again. And so you take it all in. And that's that's what we're seeing right now, uh, whether it was on TV or in person. Um, you kind of take these moments all in as a teammate, as fans. Um, you know, Judge will reflect on it uh, at the end of the season. But, you know, you definitely take it in because you probably won't ever see this again.